What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Wake's a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen. What, you shot again? Right, wait here. Your body just disappeared? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? What was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do and everything's you just and what it sounds like when you say stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the tourists. are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done.
But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. to the show, folks, as promised, our very own Don Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your dear best plan like? My plan? You sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. <laughs> 